Jeff started, um, he had another business in the uh, publishing uh, arena down in California mm-hmm. uh, in the during the 80s. And when he went looking uh, for gifts to give to his clients, he shopped around and he happened to be in uh, Hershey, Pennsylvania. And they had a giant five pound chocolate bar which he bought and brought back to some of his uh, clients. And the response was so overwhelming. And then the question was, I should be putting my name on it instead of Hershey's name. And again, just as gifts, not as a business. Uh, But the reaction was so strong that he eventually sold the publishing business and started this business. So he looked around and found someone who would make him molds. Had to do a lot of experimenting in his uh, kitchen to figure out how to bring it together. How do you do that? And that led to inventing the molds that we use. He started doing a lot of testing to see, you know, where could he get the best chocolate? Where in the world could he find the best chocolate? And then actually went beyond that and created his own blend uh, with a a chocolate company in Belgium. So it's a pure Belgian chocolate. So we don't make chocolate. We buy it from Belgium and we ship it here. And then what we do with it here is we, we have a full art department and they create the image for, for whatever the purpose. It could be a wedding, it could be a business gift, it could be a trade show giveaway. And then we create the molds here, we're melting the chocolate. But that's basically what we do. We create the look of the chocolate. We do not make the chocolate. The, the two basic lines are we have a milk mm-hmm. and a dark. And, that's, and they're, they're picked specifically for their cocoa content to satisfy the greatest number of people. But this year we're adding significantly to the line to market things in Valentine's, etc. But what makes us different from the other chocolate manufacturers that are, are sparring for a share of the Valentine's market is that ours will be custom. So if, if uh, you wanted to give one to your wife, uh, if you're gonna give uh, Brand X's chocolate, it's just gonna be Brand X's chocolate, maybe with a card for your wife. But in our case, you could put you know, your picture with her, for example, on the box and you could put her initials carved into a tree, let's say, in the chocolate. We had done a front page of the New York Times newspaper, and we did it because we were able to show the type. As small as it is, you could read the type. And the, the, head, the, the front page that we chose was Charles Lindbergh flying the Atlantic to Paris. And for several years, we used that, we never sold it, but we would give it out as a sample to show the fine detail that we could get. And one year, we got a phone call from the New York Times, and we thought it was lawyers talking about copyright that we were using their newspaper. Instead, it was the advertising manager, and he wanted to send out examples of this to 500 of their biggest advertisers as a Christmas gift. So it went from us being afraid (coughs) to us being very happy. We finished up the year, I think like everyone else, we felt uh, some pain in sales, however, uh, via managing expenses and those kind of things, I think we've had quite a good year. We're seeing growth already in this year now, so uh, it's looking, looking good for 2010.